Welcome to my first card, a place for me to inspire, create, and share. Today, let's look at the Panda Collections. So let's see what I have here for you. I have pre-cut all these green cards and also all these panda pattern from just one page. I got it from Say Collections. So just to put all this together for you to see, I even have the small little tiny ones here. Hmm, what's for the long one is a bookmark. And for the inside, I decided to choose light purple. And uh, just as the outside of the card, I cut the inside just about the same size. For a more interesting touch, I decided to cut out flowers from this leftover that I have in my treasure box. And uh, to deliver a sweet message, I'm going to use these letters from these, I guess, pre-cut letters that I bought. So let's make the first card, Panda Day for you. As you could see earlier, with my big green card, I folded it over and double-sided tape for the front and apply the uh, thicker double-sided tape for the flowers. And here I'm just taping everything together. It's going to look very simple. That was the front and now it's the back. I choose a less focused pattern for the back and now just pasting the flower over. As I showed you earlier, I'm going to see what letters I'm going to put on the card and um, actually I was just doing this on a spur so I was thinking panda and then what's up with panda and then I ended up with panda for you. No, actually panda day for you. And I don't have enough letters, I just use the four, but that makes it kind of cute. So adding the last letter here, and we have a finished card. No, not yet. I have to add the light purple. When I'm doing the voiceover, I often forget. So here you are, you have the panda day for you. Inside is lovely light purple for you to write on. And that's the back again. I know, I love the flowers sticking out like that, even though it made me hard to put it in an envelope. Let's make the second card for Valentine. I love you. Just like the first card, but I'm going to speed up a little. So just pasting the front and pasting the back. And now I'm going to paste the inner paper. And as a, one of the final touch, just a little purple flowers on the top. And here I think it's the most appropriate to be on the uh, top right. So just to make it romantic, I'm not going to use black letters, but red one because I'm going to put I love you. Mm, see whether I can land that you on there. huh? That's it. I did it. So as you can see, this is another finished card and it's extremely simple to make. However, I think it's very sweet and very cute. The front and the back, as you see. Thank you for watching.